my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Started it myself and was like, I should film this. Um, so today I'm going to be making a portfolio. Now this has been something I've been kind of going back and forth with and contemplating for quite some time now, a few months at least. Um, and today we're going to sit down and work on it. So just for a little background, if you've never seen my face before, I'm Madison. I am a junior studying aerospace engineering. And with that comes lots and lots of internship applications, job applications, um, grad school applications will be starting like a year from now, which is crazy. A lot of students as well as the industry like to see more than just a resume. Um, they want to see physical photos of work that you've done, um, projects you've worked on, things you've been a part of as a supplement to your resume. I kind of debated if I wanted to make this more of like a PowerPoint um, or like a Google Docs or something like that that somebody could just click through on their own or if I wanted to make it like an actual website. Um, and after doing some thinking, looking into some things. I know people have used GitHub for websites, you can use WordPress, Wix, things like that, but then you're paying for hosting fees or a URL, something like that. I just decided to stick with Google Sites. Um, I, in no way, I don't think, can change the URL, but it's free, it's super convenient, super easy. Link to my Google Drive account, which already has um, I have like a portfolio folder on there with a ton of photos from different projects and things I've worked on for when I got around to doing this. All in all, today we're going to be working with Google Sites to make, um, this portfolio. I, again, am really excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for a while and before I really get into the swing of applications and things come, you know, September, October, November, I really wanted to, um, take some time to work on this. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the skill section. I feel like, I think I'm just gonna throw something in there and let it be for today and think about it for a while just because I feel like the skills part is always so weird. Like, do you talk about like how long you've been doing it? Do you rank yourself on a scale from like one to five? But then what is one and what is five? Um. Just things like that, like I'm not sure where I want to go with this and I'm not sure um, kind of what direction I want to take it in, but I do want to do more than just have what I know how to do on there because knowledge is relative, if that makes sense. Like, okay, I might know how to solder a heck of a lot more than a lot of my classmates just because that is like the main thing I do at my job, but at the same time, I am maybe not as skilled in that as I am something else and I put them on the same like level playing field on the same list either way I don't know if that makes any sense but we're gonna try to like I said this is very rough drafty but um, I've kind of broken it down into like manufacturing, like physical things I know how to do, software, 
you know, programs and things like that. Not sure what to call this, but like it's also very good to have, I've written, you know, this many number of technical documents and things like that. Um, not sure what to call that. And then again, not sure what the word of this is, but things that like you can't necessarily like learn quite as well, if that makes sense. But things like leadership skills and things like that. Like, I guess you can learn those, but it's not like as solid, I guess you could say, as like, oh, you know how to solder. Like, if that makes sense. I don't know. I might be talking in circles, but um, not sure if I want to throw pictures in here too. I have a little template for it um, just to maybe like, I don't know. Maybe you could get someone to like take a picture of me soldering or something like that for this guy. But either way, this isn't published. So we're just going to leave this as it is and go back and make changes to this because I'm not quite sure where I want to go with this right now. to laying down every once in a while but um I'm trying to go back to the footer I worked on the footer for a little bit and I just hated it trying to go back to it not quite sure what all I want to put on there right now I just like I think it can be something really cool but I don't want it to be boring I wanted to have some color and I want it to be worthwhile and right now I feel like it's like everything I don't want it to be so I might just delete it for now, maybe come back to it today or in a few days. I just like, I don't want to put stuff on here just to put stuff on here. I want it to be like thoughtful and intentional and I don't want it to look thrown together because I feel like this might be like a reflection on like recruiters and people I'm interviewing with, things like that. So I'm trying to figure that out, but this is kind of a hassle. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this experience pages page for now because I kind of feel like I could throw my job and labs and things like that on there, but I do feel like it'd get quite repetitive from different projects I've worked on. Um, that being said, I think I could probably add another section of projects that's more like class related things where I can add some of the documentation um, and other things I've worked on in there. So last but not least, we're gonna hop over to leadership and work on this next. This I feel like is gonna be pretty short. Um, so far I just have that I was the Colorado Rosa president elect. So I've been chosen to be president my senior year, which is pretty cool. So I will be training up, kind of shadowing the current president right now. Um, not sure if I wanna put a picture in there because I have one picture from RoboSub and it's literally like so awkward. And then etc. Um, I think it's important to highlight other things that I'm involved in. So I am on the National Youth Board for the US Pony Club and then I was also the youth leader of my pony club back home for like four years. Um, I'm gonna try to fill in a little bit more here just to add some detail but I think it's important to emphasize that you can be a leader with like things that involve maybe competitions and things like that and then also something like courses where you're dealing with children and things like that also says a lot about your ability to speak and communicate with others so i'm gonna go try to fill this in right now i 
am getting kind of sick of this right now, not gonna lie. I think I'm at like a relatively good stopping point. I have some more work to do, but I think this is gonna be something that evolves and takes quite a bit of time. So I'm gonna call it there. I hope y'all enjoyed this intro to kind of my portfolio, what it looks like. And this is something I'd be more than happy to kind of continue showing you um, and working through with y'all. So I'll show you one last overview of what it currently looks like. It's pretty dry to say the least, but um, I just need to go find more photos, which I literally, my, my photo, count of things other than horses is very minimal so I might need to go kind of force some photos if that makes sense but stage some photos of me soldering but we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty the home y'all we're not even going to discuss the home I haven't even touched the home yet but that's beside the point. Um, projects I'm really really excited for this I need to get some more photos of this pops mount I worked on really really liking the layout and the format of this little section here with these photos here and mini descriptions. Soldering, same thing. I don't have any photos of anything I've soldered, which is something I need to go work on. I'm also not quite sure how I want to describe all of this stuff, just because, um, to be honest, I don't entirely know what all of it does, if that sounds terrible. Um, manufacturing. This needs some work. I feel like I don't use a lot of like hard tools. Like I use like a saw and a drill and a drill press for this crate I made, which was like a big moment for me, okay? We're just gonna, that's beside the point. <laughs> Skills we already talked about. I need to go add photos. I'm gonna think on this a little bit on how I wanna lay this out, but so far I do really like having it broken down into different categories. Um, and I need to go find some photos here leadership i'm honestly loving this i think i need to add some photos here but i think leadership is one of the things where i would rather have it like less is more um just to really highlight this one big thing or maybe i can think of some other things i've done that aren't high school related um i think it is hard there's you know i was like the president of like three clubs in high school but at the same time that was so long ago that i think recruiters don't really care about, you know, me talking about Cyber Patriot or um, my robotics club, things like that. So not quite sure where we're going to go with that. Like I said, I have some work to do. I'm honestly loving it so far. This is just exhausting, not going to lie. I've spent a few hours on this so far today and I feel like I've gotten nowhere. I feel like we have a good start, but I still feel like we're so far from where we should be. So <laughs> y'all I do not think I'm gonna be able to fit this all in one video just because a I don't know if you want to see every single word I type um and b I think this is gonna be something that's constantly evolving but nevertheless I'm really excited for what we have so far I want to thank you all for watching today's video um if you have any like tips tricks advice have any questions anything like that about resumes portfolios I would love advice and if you want me to answer any questions, I can do my best. I am in no way an expert. Um, I do try to talk to as many people as I can, grad students, people in industry, things like that, about um, what I can do to kind of better myself these next few years. So I'm loving where we're at with this. I think I'm going to take a break. Um, and like I said, this will just be something that's constantly evolving. But thank you all so much for watching. If you all decide to make your own portfolio, I would love to see it. I think it's such a kind of cool new I don't know if it's really that new it's very new to me um but either way thank you all for watching and I love you all so much I will see you on my next video bye